This is the grade four math practice test for T and ready. Question on this version, number 11. Angle QRS measures 60 degrees. Ray RQ is shown on the protractor. So we already have some values here that we can work with. Using the protractor, draw and label Ray RS. So I'm gonna have to take something like this. Of course, in the real world, a ray would be straight line. And that's still not very close. I need to do something with that to form angle QRS. And remember, the angle has to be 60 degrees. The R value is here, so I'm going to have to go somewhere from this direction. Now, if I want it to be 60 degrees total, I need to move it 60 degrees away from where it is now. So if I go down this way, I kind of run out of places to go because this as high as it is is at 30. Now you will notice by the way there's two sets of numbers. What's with the two sets of numbers? Well if I do it this way this is an acute angle now. The number on the bottom represents that angle so it would represent this angle here the smaller one. So from here to here is the 30 degrees and we might use that 30 here in just a second. The 150 would go if I measured it from here. This is a big angle, this is an obtuse angle like that, it's a big one, it's over 90 degrees, so that's where that 150 comes from, just FYI. Now what I'm going to do is use that 30 to get to where I want to be. So if I have to go 60 from 30, I can just count them, that's pretty easy. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So it should be right here at the 90 degree point, and let's just do a quick check. So if I have 90, I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to take this 30 away. That would tell me the part that's left over, the part inside that angle, is certainly going to be 60 degrees. So that's exactly what I want to do. So I'm just going to draw this line up here all the way. And it would have been nice if I'd been able to draw even remotely straight line, but whatever. Right out there. And now I can label that. S. So now it's angle Q, R, S. It's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 degrees. And it has all the parts that I need. And I would labeled Ray R, S. And since R is already there, I don't need to label it. But you do need to put the S on there just so they can see all the parts. So as you go through, find the measure that you need. Base it off where the angle is currently, or the original ray is, and make sure that you label your new ray when you put your answer in there. Otherwise, they could count it wrong. Like you do all this stuff and you forget to do this, which I've, you know, been there. I do all this stuff and I draw this line out here. Everything's looking great, and I just leave it. Well, we don't know what this angle is called because you you name an angle off three points unless you're naming it off the central angle. Um, Q R E. Eh. So make sure that you go back in there and put your S so you get all your points.